I'm Rob McDaniel, Vice President of Strategic Solutions at Q2. You know, at Q2, we build stronger and more diverse communities by strengthening the financial institutions that serve them. And in 2021, it's not enough for us to help banks and credit unions compete with other banks and credit unions. We've also got to create a niche for these institutions in the fintech ecosystem. You know, for the last four years, we've powered the critical infrastructure that links leading fintechs like Credit Karma and Betterment with the regional and community financial institutions that issue their savings and debit accounts. So we were thrilled when Movin selected Q2 Core Pro, the first and only core processing system built for standalone digital only lines of business to power their direct bank in a box offering. Uh, by combining Movin's award-winning app with Q2 Core Pro, any bank of any size should be able to have their own challenger neobank, their own Chime, Marcus, or Dave in a matter of weeks, not months or years. So let's take a look. Brett? Thanks, Ron. Well, you know, obviously during 2020, one of the issues was the ability to digitally onboard customers. So even though it's a hygiene factor and it's something we've had since Move and launched back in 2012 as a challenger bank in the US, you know, today we're, as Rama said, we're powering uh, banks to help them uh, have their own challenger uh, platform um, wherever they may be in 30 days, uh, they can be up and running. And so uh, I'm just going to take you through the process of sign up, uh, digital onboarding that we bring as a capability with this. Um, obviously, you know, we work with banks all around the world. TD Bank, who has 10 million mobile uh, users on the platform, uh, mobile uh, users today, um, uh, you know, BCA in Indonesia with 26 million and, and others. So um, we're used to dealing um, with all sorts of size of banks, um, and this is a capability that uh, oh, I got the wrong verification code. Let me try again. This is a capability you can have as a standalone product. So you can represent this as a mobile bank account, or you can represent it as an entirely new brand for your bank if you want to go down that route. Basically, we give you the power to compete with the challenges side by side with some useful differentiation, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So the sign-on process ideally takes about uh, 90 seconds for a customer to, uh, to submit their uh, details into the system, and uh, they're then, you know, a customer of uh, your bank. You can issue a debit card uh, for them in the future, um, you know, and we'll be able to um, tokenize that to the wallet um, directly so that they can start transacting immediately just as you would with Marcus or one of these other banks. And this sits on top of the core, uh, see, sorry, the, uh, the Q2 infrastructure, of course. So we'll just now scan in the uh, identity document. I'm just using a sample from New York State. Captured the front, do the same on the back. Realize I gotta clean my keyboard after this too. Great, our KYC is almost complete. One step left to do, which is the selfie. It's pretty easy, you just hold the phone out and blink. And uh, the selfie is done. So that's how easy it is to set up an account. You know, 90 seconds to a couple of minutes, we can fund the account using um, Plaid, which also allows us to aggregate information for the financial well-being element of the, the app. But let me show you an existing user so you see a little bit more detail behind how the interface will look with data populating it. And uh, again, this is a live app on, on top of Q2 and available uh, there. So you get the usual moving features like the spending meter, the categorization engine where you can drill down on, uh, drill down to individual expenses, individual categories. Um, of course, we also see our cash flow, predictive cash flow elements. Um, you see the orange spikes there or dots indicating recurring transactions. So we can predict if you're going to have a recurring transaction where you're not going to be able to meet that based on current cash flow. 
We have our wish list items. So we treat our savings collectively as a stash. And then within that, you can allocate percentages. But it gives you ability to trade off in terms of the different uh, savings uh, ob objectives there. You have to break the glass to get in some positive gamification there. And you would have noticed that one of the wish list items was the iPhone. So when we go back to the home screen, you see that maybe I walked past an Apple store and I've got a contextual credit offer here to buy your new iPhone today with a $400 credit line. So these are a couple of fee features that are unique to Movin's Challenger Bank platform on Q2, where um, you know you have additional fee revenue based on insights uh, that come from the app, such as uh, what people are, uh, what they intend to buy, or or based on cash flow where there's a need to uh, support them for reoccurring costs. Back to you, Ram. So you've seen the app, uh, and it's pretty cool, but. A cool app is not enough, right? It's also got to be fast to market. It's got to be cost effective. And it's got to be easy to support and operate. Now, I get that nobody comes to Finnovate to watch a core processing demo, but this is core pro. This is core processing deployed on the cloud as a service that can be up and running in a matter and implemented in a matter of hours or days, right? And this is what enabled Movin to fully onboard and KYC Brett while he was talking. So as an agent, He's easy for me to find, right? I can go to Brett's record. This is the Brett King that was just created here a second ago from New York. I can come in here and I can see that he's been fully KYC'd in partnership with our friends at SoCure. I can see that he's got an account. I can look at the account number. I could work with the account. I could make changes to it. I could add a card to it. I can do other things. I can look at the linked external accounts. I have the full complement of features here. So how can we have this up and implemented in a matter of 30 days? Well, we can deploy the core, but we're not integrating with the rest of the bank. You know, too often existing infrastructure, as good and robust as it is, gets in the way of fast and easy. So we're not replacing your core. We're not uh, integrating to it. This is a complementary system that works alongside the systems that you have in place to power this offering, this new bank, as it grows, allowing you to challenge the challengers on their terms and collect customers and data and deposits while the rest of the bank, the full service engine, continues its own digital transformation journey. We're excited to work on this project and we're excited to work with Movin on it. Thank you.